For the second time in a row, a Detroit demo contractor has torn down the wrong house. We told you about the job on the east side that had to be reported to the state because environmental precautions were not taken in that wrong job. Well, now a different contractor has torn down the wrong house. Sean Light is in northeast Detroit tonight with more. Sean, good evening. Yeah, good evening, Kimberly. It has happened again. The city says, look, they give their contractors every last shred of information that they need to direct them to the right house. Usually it works out. This crew was sent to this house on the right. Instead, they came to the house on the left. You can see it has been taken down, and that is another mistake. So that uh, led to the confusion. For the second time in two weeks, Brian Farkas with the Detroit Building Authority has to explain why. One of the city's contractors tore down the wrong house. We've done over 14,000 demolitions. Um, you know, this happens very, very rarely. When it does, we go out to the site, we do a, a complete assessment of what happened, what went wrong, where can we improve our processes, and that investigation is still going on internally. Two land bank owned structures, both had recent fires, both ordered for emergency demolition. The house on the right was supposed to be brought down first. It collapsed on itself. No address could be seen. The house on the left had asbestos warnings on it and demo orders plastered to it. And that's the house that was brought down. Both houses were in such bad shape, you can see how the mistake was made. But the city equips contractors with the right information, so this does not happen. They have a packet of information to identify the correct house. In this case, we're still looking at what we could have done better internally because there was gray area here. But both of these houses were land bank owned. Both were scheduled uh, in the pipeline for emergency demolition. I want to be clear to your viewers that yes. this was not an occupied house with new windows and a new roof. These were both houses that were uh, massive threats to public health and safety. Back here live, you have both houses. Big danger to the surrounding area. Both were emergency demos, so it's important to point out that no pre-environmental work had to be done on either of the homes here. That happens during the demo process, so Kimberly, it's not an environmental issue here. The remains of that house that you see collapsed there will be taken away soon. Back yeah. to you. So, Sean, I know we were last time the contractor faced punishment. Any fines or suspensions coming in this case? Yeah, this is a Guyanga, a relatively new contractor in the city, has done about a million dollars worth of business. The city says they're very pleased with their performance so far. And when you look at both houses, they could totally see mm -hmm. the confusion here thrown off perhaps by some of the warning and abatement signs. Could not see the address there, so no fines or suspensions for them. Yeah. All right, Sean.